What is happening, everyone? We are taking a break from our usual programming to do a little enlightenment for Soul Calibur VI. Uh, in this video, I want to talk about Haomaru and his Ronin techniques. I just want to explain how they work because the game does a terrible job of doing that. Uh, first off, Ronin technique is basically just the game's code word for special moves. When I think of special moves, especially in a 2D game, I think about things like fireballs and dragon punches that use the quarter circle motion inputs because everything else a character did were just punches and kicks. Those to me are special moves. But in Soul Calibur VI, special moves is a broader category. So when they talk about those particular kind of moves that Haomaru has, they use the term Ronin technique to describe them. So I just want to explain what all of his Ronin techniques are and how they work like traditional special moves normally do. And these are all basically moves that he has had from Samurai Showdown games past, things that you might recognize. His famous special moves are now just called Ronin Techniques. So first off, let's kind of just go down the list of what all of these moves are, so you can get used to them, learn their cool names, rather than having to say it in number notation all the time. Uh, speaking of number notation, I'll try to find a quick little video to put in the description to explain it better. Because um, rather than referring to things as quarter circle or DP or whatever, I'd rather just use the numbers 236. So if you don't understand what those mean, take a minute go check out this video in the link real quick and then come back to it. Let's take a moment to talk about the alternate input method. All of these moves have, well most of these moves have a shortcut way to input them using the AB buttons. Haomaru basically has no other unique dual button attacks listed. All of these are just meant to be shortcuts for his Ronin techniques. As you can see in this in the menu, it shows you what the natural inputs for each one of them are. And using the correct inputs results in more damage. These will all appear in the text bar at the bottom to show you the shortcut input. But for the most part, I would refer to the moves as their inputs are supposed to be, I would say 236 instead of forward A plus B. It's worth learning to do it the hard way because you get free damage for doing it, but if you do find it a little bit too difficult sometimes, the shortcuts are here for almost all of these Ronin techniques. Uh, so one of his most basic moves is 236A, the Cyclone Slash. It works just like it did in all the other Sam Show games. Uh, in this case, if you hold in A, he will put his sword away. He'll enter the bare knuckle stance while doing so, which is kind of a cool trick. Not a lot of things that can do that. Cyclone Slash is one of them. So that's 236A. When he does 236B, you get Cyclone Strike, which kind of looks like the same thing except he hits you with the sand coming up from the ground rather than the full hurricane attack. This has a lethal hit attached to it, so you're going to end up using this a lot once you hit certain conditions. Uh, the third option is 236K, which is the fake. He just fakes the Cyclone Slash. And this used to be used for baiting opponents to come at you when they expect the Hurricane or whatever it might be. Uh, the next group are 623, what we would call a Dragon Punch motion that comes from Shoryukens and Street Fighter. This works the same way here, and his versions of it are 623A, just that big, heavy, hard knockdown. It's called Cyclone Slash Zero Form, which is a bit long-winded, but you get the idea. This one is particularly useful because it's a natural combo out of a lot of extensions, and you do get wall splats and knockdowns with it, so you're going to use this one a lot as well. Uh, 623B is the Crescent Moon Slash, which all How Movie players have gotten used to over the years. This is one of his signatures. If you are in Soul Charge, you have access to another version, which is 623A plus B. Which, as you can see, causes the opponent to flip over backwards, and you get follow-ups and massive combo damage out of it. But this is only available while you're in Soul Charge, you won't have it otherwise. The next version is 623K, the Solid Tackle. This is also pretty good, because it works as a natural combo off of certain extensions, but this guy has a lot to work with. Uh, there's several extensions based on Haomaru's conditions at the time. Uh, the first of which is V has Rage. If your health is critical and your rage is activated, you get a second K input. You can do 623KK. Which looks like that. Knocks him down. This is all still a natural combo. If you have Soul Charge, rather than a second K, you can do two B inputs. 623KBB. Looks like that. Again, still all natural combos. This is all guaranteed. You can see where it says he should be guarding all on the right. So that's available when you're in Soul Charge. 
And to put the whole thing together, if you were in Rage Explosion, it's like this, you get a third B at the end. That guy at the end to just chunk on some extra damage. So it's only if you find yourself in Rage because of your health and are able to Soul Charge and get the Rage Explosion mode, you can use this. This is a nice feature because you get damage and it doesn't use up your Rage. We'll get to that more in a little bit. So next up are the inputs that go backwards, starting with 214B, the Titanium Splitter. This is his standard break attack, which as you can see is also A plus B. Every character has an A plus B as their universal break attack. How Maru's it just happens to be 214B. It accomplishes the same feat, you just get more damage for using the correct input. 214K is called Overhead Bottle Strike. It's actually a little difficult to see, but he hits you with the jug of booze that's around his waist. That's a pretty cool attack. So the last two basic Ronin techniques start with 421B. This would be a reverse DP motion, as you would call it in another game, a dragon punch done backwards. 421B is this earthquake slice. Does a nice chunk of damage and stuns them. This also has a lot of good uses in combos, too. Like that. Does a pretty nice bit of damage and looks just fantastic while you're doing it. And the other is 412K, which is just called Calm Blade. This is an evasive move. It gets out of the way of attacks and Halamaru will counter if it's done successfully. So let me just show you what that looks like. Halamaru avoids their attack cleanly and delivers a counter and knocks them back to the ground. Very cool looking as well. You'll notice it says dodges high and middle attacks. I'm assuming this also includes kicks because he has other parries that will say does not include kicks. So this one probably does. He will evade almost everything. And this is similar to Sam show techniques that the character has. A lot of these are based on current and past iterations of his moves. And this is a sort of spot dodge that he has to just completely avoid. And in this case, he will counterattack you if done successfully. So that are the bulk of the special moves. The other two, when I say special moves, I mean Ronin techniques. The other two worth considering are available while he is in rage. So when you take enough damage and you enter the rage state, as indicated by the kanji underneath his name up in the top left corner, once you're here, you have a couple of extra little moves. We talked about the KK extension off of your shoulder. In addition to this, you now have 236 B plus K which is a second critical edge that just does that. In doing so, will consume the rest of your rage mechanic. You won't be able to use it again. It'll, it'll end the rage state that you have, you lose your bonus damage, and it completely cancels it out for the rest of the duration. Keep that in mind. Once you use it up, that's it. So you want to keep the rage burning as long as you can until you have to spend it all. Uh, there's another level to this called Rage Explosion that once you have achieved your maximum rage state by the icon. If you can soul charge on top of this and you hold it in, go in a rage explosion, which is a combination of the two. And in this move, he also has lightning blade, which is done by just pressing back and your super button. Your, your critical edge button, your soul attack button, your soul charge button, that same command. You press back with that and you get that lightning blade attack. And again, doing so consumes your rage entirely, and you won't be able to access it again. But that move is capable of doing some massive damage. Those I mentioned, because they are Ronin techniques, they can be used like the rest of these techniques. And what I mean by that is Haomaru's ability to cancel into those. We talked about the origins of these moves in their original 2D games, like Samurai Showdown and Street Fighter. Haomaru in this game also has special cancels. And what that means is you can perform a normal attack, like 6A, and while that is happening, you can input a special move, one of these Ronin techniques, and cancel the recovery directly into it. This is things that you've seen all over the place in 2D games, like Street Fighters, Crouching, Medium Kick, into Fireball. This is exactly the same. The problem here is the game does an absolutely awful job of telling you how this works, which is the whole reason I wanted to make this video, to try and help clarify it a little bit. So what you see in the game 
it'll show you four of these moves. Not every normal attack can be canceled into a special, and the game will show you four of these. Right here is your 6A, and it shows you three buttons you can follow up, on hit or on guard. That's an important feature to notice too. It does not have to make contact for you to follow up. You can do these on block, and that'll have strategic value later on. So it shows you an A, a B, and a K follow up for each one. And it also mentions how you can do the correct input for each one. This is 623A, for example, and you'll get more damage by doing so. But all you have to do is just press the A button, you'll automatically get this follow-up. We saw this move earlier, does the exact same thing. Same with Cyclone Strike, picks up the sand. He's canceling this normal directly into a special move, no problem. And the third one, the overhead bottle strike, looks like that. These are automatic, they're easy to do, you can do the shortcut version. You can also do the actual A plus B shortcut version here as well. You could do 4A plus B to get whatever it is. So the secret is that all of the Ronin techniques can do this. If you do 6A, you can cancel it into every single Ronin technique he has. Whether it's the titanium split or break attack, whether it's the shoulder tackle, or whether it's the rage explosion super art thing. They can all be canceled into by one of these attacks, and the game does not indicate that to you anywhere. And as I mentioned, the game shows you four of them. Uh, the next one here is While Standing B. Same situation, you get three auto follow-ups by just pressing a single button, but you can do any single Ronin technique you want with the A plus B shortcut or the correct input for extra damage. They will all work. Uh, the next one that it would teach you is Back Running A, three follow-ups, and Forward Running B, three follow-ups. The three auto follow-ups are a little bit different for each one, but again, it doesn't really matter what they are. You could do whichever one you feel like or whichever one the situation demands. And we talked about how some of these are a natural combo in some situations. You're going to want to learn that. You're going to want to realize that, you know, I can do this and get that damage for free. They don't all do that. Some have counter hit setups. If you catch a certain move on a counter hit, then you get it for free, but not all. You'll have to learn that individually. I have no desire to sit here and test out every single possible link and see which ones are combos. Needless to say, a lot of them are. The uh, Cyclone Strike Zero Form and the Solid Tackle are the most common that link out of their move. Uh, so those are the four that the game shows you with auto follow-ups. The other ones that it does not mention are a to B. You press A to B super fast. He cancels the A into that health strike, which also cancels in two special moves. The game fails to show you 2B. This little ducking hill strike has the same property. You can cancel this and do a follow up, as well as full crouch B, which is basically the same move anyway. Cancel it into whatever you feel like. And, and the choices are yours. You can do whatever you want out of these. So anything that you possibly need, whether it's set them up for a break attack and use your frame advantage, whether it's using the block stun, the fact that you could do these on block and then still cancel it, and then go into Calm Blade to try to parry their counter attack, situations like that. This is a really powerful mix-up tool because your opponent is never going to know what it is that comes at them. They can try to stand there and hold their ground for a while, but eventually they're going to get blown up by making a bad decision as long as you continue to harass them with a litany of various different timings coming out of all of these attacks. And keep in mind, like I said, this also includes your rage techniques. So if you get, you know, a 6-6-B, you can just do the 6-6-B and connect it right into a critical edge and do tons of damage that way. So the damage potential off of some of these is just absolutely massive. You can do a lot of really nasty things, especially when the character has rage, where he excels the most. So that's the gist of what I wanted to talk about. The list of all of these moves and how to do them correctly so you get used to what they are. You'll realize that some of them are a little bit situational. Like the Earthquake Strike is mainly in combos. This does not track and is very slow. Some of them are really good, like the Cyclone Slash Zero form. That does track and it causes knockdowns. Become familiar with all of these and what they're good for, and then learn which ones are good out of certain cancels. Whether it's the A to the B, the Downhill Strike, or 6-6-B, whatever it might happen to be. You need to learn all these and get familiar with them, but that comes through practice and experimentation. 
So I hope that helped clarify a little bit of what the game was talking about, because as I said, I think that's a terrible job of explaining how this works. It showed you three little follow-ups and completely fails to mention the huge library of options that you actually have by doing this. So, you gotta hit the practice mode yourself and figure out what works best for you, what fits your playstyle, how you want to learn to read your opponent, and the rest will start coming naturally. So, I thank you for tuning in as always. Check out the social media information. I appreciate the likes, the follows, subscribes, shares, all of that good stuff. So, until the next time, we will see you later.